Hi guys and uh, welcome to the channel. So today I'll be teaching you how to set up a virtual environment using Conda. So this uh, video is going to be very simple and very straightforward. So in order to do this, what we need to do first is to go to the Anaconda website. I will be dropping the link in the description box below. So by the time you hit the link, you're going to be taken to this website right here. And what you need to do next is to click on download and then follow the procedures that uh, comes after. This is pretty, very easy and intuitive. So after doing that, come to your set bar here and type Anaconda. So come here and type Anaconda. All right, let's give it a while. It's um, dragging a bit. All right, so type Anaconda, all right? So click on this Anaconda prompt. Just click on it so that we can open the command interface. Okay. So we'll just give it a while to just um, load. All right, so we are here. All right, so the, the, first, the next thing we need to do is to uh, check the version of our um, Conda installed. So in order to do this, you will just type uh, conda dash v, that's capital letter v. All right, let me just increase um, the font so that it's visible to everyone. So let me just try 24. Okay, so here we go. So let's check um, the version of conda on our desktop. We'll just give it some time to just um, run and load. All right, so we can see here that uh, our Conda version is 23.1.0. So let's also um, update our, our packages so that everything we have on our um, on that distribution is up to date. So what we need to do that is just to type um, Conda, sorry, Conda update. Conda. Right, and click on enter. So what this does is it updates all the packages in this um, um, Anaconda prompt. We'll just give it some time to run and uh, we'll come back to the video. All right, so as you can see in my case, it says um, all requested packages are already installed. And uh, this is because I've installed and uh, updated my uh, corner package before now. All right, so the next step in creating a virtual environment is using the syntax I'm going to show you now. So we need to create, so we type in conda, sorry, conda create, right, dash n, n is new. And now we're going to specify the, the name of the virtual environment I want to create. So I can just say um, test. Oh, before we do that, um, let's change our directory to the files that are going to contain the, the requirements that we're going to be working with. So in my case, I will change this to desktop. So change directory desktop, right? All right, so now I'm in my desktop. Let me see if I still have this folder in my desktop. All right, so the folder is not there. So what I need to do now is 
I'm going to be working with the desktop directory. Now, to create a virtual environment, I'm going to be typing the following um, command under create uh, and so I'm going to specify the name of the virtual environment I want to create. So I'll just say test SM. Then I'll specify the Python version. So I'll do 3.9. And finally, on my phone, so I'll click on enter. Right? And just wait for it to create the virtual environment. So it's creating a virtual environment for us. And um, I think this is gonna take a while. So, okay. All right, so let's just hold on and um, let it do its thing. All right, so it's asking us if we need to proceed. So we'll just click on yes, which is a Y, and then enter. So it's downloading and extracting the packages. Um, we'll just give it time to finish and then come back to the video. All right, so if your command was successful, you will see um, this, you see something like this, preparing transaction done, verifying transaction done, and uh, you see uh, done here. Now, what we need to do now is we need to um, check the list of virtual environments in our desktop. So we do this by typing the following command, under, sorry, under, environment lists let's see the list of uh, virtual environment we have on our desktop so let's just give it some seconds all right okay now we have the uh, Streamlit apps and we have uh, test environments. So this is the one we just created now, right? This is the virtual environment we created now. So now let's uh, navigate to this virtual environment that we're going to be working with. And um, to do that, we just need to activate the virtual environment. So we do that by using the following command, Conda activate, activate, Name of our virtual environment, which is tests. Sorry, let's go back. Activate tests and so click on that. All right, so now you can see that our um, environment has changed from this, right, to test M. So these are virtual environments. We can basically perform um, any kind of command we have here. We can install our requirements and uh, all of that kind of stuff like that. So this is it from me. So if you enjoyed the video, give it the likes and uh, subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, you can post it on the comment section and I'll reply you. Thank you very much, guys. Bye.